epic system itself has a long history uh, from being a, a down select for the U.S. Army tender uh, to being the primary vest for c countries like New Zealand and, and um, some of the some of the French special operations groups that we have um, to law enforcement literally all over the world. Um, the e EPIC is the, is stands for Enhanced Pico Integrated Carrier. Um, it has tons of features in it. We've got a, a, a couple different models of it here to show, um, and it's also the very first tactical vest that has a female specific variant for it that's actually patented. Uh, so with that, I'll kind of walk through some of the details on on EPIC. Um, this is the very first variant of EPIC itself. Um, the, uh, the, it has a, a quad cutaway, so four specific buckles that are all cut away off of the central uh, mechanism. Uh, the front that you'll notice, it has a gusset to play pocket, meaning that the pocket is actually offset away from the soft armor. What this allows for, as you can see inside the vest here, is the vest actually sets properly on your body. It do, does not push the, the plate back into your body, so you actually can see the actual profile of the vest itself. So that allows for the, the plate to set away, not dr drive heat and um, drive pressure into your chest from that standpoint, and gives you proper placement of the actual plate on the front of your on the front of your uh, body. The um, the soft armor is a uh, based on a concealable shape uh, that we actually designed back in one of my very first designs back in 2012. Um, and we modified that shape from the concealable package that we actually did for the FBI back in the day and, um, and actually uh, made it more tactical variant where we actually added some wing specific armor on the back where you get a full wrap or, or close to a full wrap as possible. Um, the, uh, the soft armor component, um, it, as you can see, you've got lots of coverage on the inside of the vest, wrapping around the body and being able to provide uh, a good amount of uh, side coverage. So the back, back plate is actually an internally uh, held plate. Um, it, it, what it allows for is the shape and grade in between your actual scapula and conforms to your actual body, holding the, the vest itself and wrapping the vest around your actual torso um, and then being able to offset the plate on the front itself. You've got two wings uh, on, on both sides. You've got wings on either side. So again, using just like we did with the Pico MV and some of the other vests we have, um, the Pico MVW has the same feature, but having a magazine wing actually built into the actual carrier, I've got that on both sides on this. Um, that allows you to, to carry either two magazines, small radio in some cases, some guys would do that. Uh, I've seen people actually do pistols in there, uh, pistol magazines and other, other, other components uh, as well. Um, from a cutaway standpoint, the locking me mechanism is simply a buckle up there and it's like down. Molly on both the wings. Molly on the front as far as Velcro. Uh, this has the low profile shoulders, which is what it comes with. Uh, it adapts and can actually take any of our Thor shoulders or our uh, armor shoulders. It has a complete collar and throat system. Um, so when we went through this system though, we also created a female variant of this carrier as well. This is the non cutaway variant. But what we did is we actually built in breast cup tissue, uh, ballistic, uh, ballistic coverage uh, for female for the female variant. So that way it actually forms to the female breast, breast shape and then still continues to give the proper uh, placement, fit, and actual uh, uh, vertical placement of the actual plate. So the plate's not tilted on, breast cup, on the breast cups themselves and being able to actually get the tr uh, correct uh, placement on the body uh, for a uh, vertical placement. Uh, I've got complete wrap on the sides. A uh, zip-on back panel is, is kind of standard with almost every single vest that we do now, uh, but Epic specifically has this. Uh, you've got adjustable shoulders um, and then some, um, uh, some variants, depending on the size and shape of the female, uh, you actually will have a uh, uh, wing mount magazine on, on either side. Um, with that, we have the law, more of a law enforcement driven version. So we have, have collar, throat, um, ballistic biceps that can be added, uh, ballistic uh, cover buns where we have soft armor on the actual uh, component itself. We can also add lower abs, groins, and other components. Uh, with that, really is the next variant of that. So these these vests will still be maintained both in a cutaway and non-cutaway non status, uh, but the next variant of that is really the Epic DSX carrier itself. So instead of having uh, side flaps or a front flap variant, what we did is we still had the same, same shape and grade, but we actually used the tactic uh, buckle on both sides so that way you still have a non-cutaway shoulder up top 
but an easier entry from the side so you don't have a flaps or anything else like that. We have a lot of requests around this. It's a 350 to 380 pound brake tensile strength around that. Still have both magazine wells on either, on either side. All the DSX uh, products that we have, we've got the add-in pocket on the front that still allow, allows you to be able to run a Net Warrior uh, platform on the front, whether it's Juggernaut Case or Cagworks. Um, it still has the ability to run three magazines, three pistol magazines on the inside, use it for administration cards. We, um, we use some of the newer material on the front where we actually used, this is more for a colorway standpoint. So this is actually a laminated uh, webbing and, or lim laminated material that we actually cut down into webbing. What this allows for is what we've noticed over a period of time when, when guys are wearing multicam vests, that their actual multicam actually fades, primarily on the webbing, not necessarily on the material. So what we did is we actually used the laminated material to actually try to give a little bit of longevity and also be able to cut a little bit of weight out of that. You still have the Thor shoulders or the soft low profile shoulders or the, the ballistic Thor shoulders that's like on here. Uh, that allows you to be able to insert soft armor into those. Um, you, you have a mesh style cummerbund with a Velcro outer piece so you can actually attach soft, soft armor or um, uh, side plate pockets. And then we still have this zip on back panel on the back using the new um, material on the back as well to try to be able to protect from a colorway standpoint. Just a couple of points real fast to cover. All of the Epic family of carriers are able to scale up or scale down so you can add all of those additional armor accessories if you wish. Um, and then standard Epic is a, is a four-way cutaway. An Epic non-cutaway comes actually in three variants. It comes in a standard Epic non-cutaway, which is hook and loop shoulders and sides. It comes in, in what we call a non-cutaway two or an NC2 which has two fast deck buckles that connect the cummerbund and then hook and loop shoulders. And then we have an NC4, which gives you all four typical fast deck buckles. They're just non-cutaway variants. And then on the DSX line, one of the things that we didn't cover when we talked about some of the other carriers or any of the carriers that incorporate the tactic buckle in the cummerbund attachment is you don't have to run both sides. You can run one side or the other. So on a carrier that has a traditional front flap, you can run a hook and loop on one side and a tactic buckle on the other. And that is Epic DSX.